Hey guys, it's Kaz at Diesel Doctor today. We've got a 6.4 on the uh, crank balancer. Um, it's amazing, the more you balance these things, uh, the more you'll realize some of the things that you start seeing on them. Is the, uh, when a crankshaft is becoming uh, closer in tolerance, uh, it'll just get whisper quiet. You don't hear the noise and the vibration off the stanchions. Um, this one here, we just balanced. I just ran the ran the last pass on it. Um, but anyways, you can see, uh, it'll pop up in a minute, but the left side uh, is 0 0.169, the right side's 1.468 on grams. Uh, something that you can see that it also, this page gives us, I've showed this a couple times before. But anyways, this is a force in pounds on the left side and the right side at different RPMs and the frequency that's on the crankshaft. So it's extremely important. We preach balancing pretty heavily. The reason why we do is because for some unknown reason in the diesel world, uh, guys just believe that it's not important to balance because these things don't turn as many RPMs as a big block Chevy. Well, the thing is, it's a larger rotational mass. If you weigh an LS1 rod, it might weigh 700 grams. If you weigh one of, say, it for, for instance, out of this engine right here, let's just look at our, our bob weight card. If we pull it up here, you can see that the big end on a, uh, uh, on the rods are 869 grams. <clears throat> if we pull it up, this pulls all our weights of our bob weights. The rod total, that's just the big end. The rod total right here is 1,282 grams on the heaviest rod, okay? An LS1 rod weighs around 700. So you're pushing almost, not quite, but half. You have a lot, lot uh, you have a whole lot larger rotational mass on this thing. If you don't believe in balancing and you say, well, I just don't travel, this thing just doesn't, doesn't move at the same RPM, that's real simple. I can prove it. Take all the weights off your tires and then travel at 40 miles an hour instead of 70 miles an hour and you let me know how that happens for you, you know, how, how it plays out for you. It's extremely important to balance. I don't know why anybody would think that it wouldn't be. It's important enough to balance that the factory takes and spends a lot of money in making sure that these, these crankshafts are balanced. And the next thing that somebody might say, well, it's balanced from the factory. I heard one of our uh, competitors say, well, if you have balanced pistons and balanced rods, and then you go back and you stick them on the crankshaft, and you never balance the crankshaft with the rods, this should be fine. Well, the problem with that is, is this. It's real simple. That crankshaft is balanced uh, from the factory with stock pistons. And we've shown this before. If you want to go back on our page, you can look back through some of the videos. The thing is, is you're looking at a 20 over or 30 over piston. Uh, there's maybe 15 grams difference on each piston. That means that this side of the seesaw doesn't weigh. This side right here is not heavy enough to counteract the other side now because you've, act, you've added more weight on the opposite side. So it's extremely important to, to balance. I don't know why anybody would be opposed to that. But anyways, just uh, some things for you to think about and uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.